Good morning. Welcome back in the morning moments with Jesus and our daily devotion that we have with the Lord. Just spending a little time with Jesus this morning. You know, it's interesting sometimes when we look back at old photos or pictures of ourselves or our children, our grandchildren, at just how much we change throughout our lives that we don't notice if we looking if we're looking in the mirror each and every day as much as if we look back at old photos and how our lifestyles and our changes take place in our lives. That's the physical part, but let's praise God this morning for the spiritual change and the spiritual growth that has taken place in our lives over the years that perhaps on a daily basis we don't notice that much, but just how much the Lord has refined us and and cleansed us and brought us uh, as far as he's brought us this morning, we need to always be mindful of praising the Lord for that. I find an interesting verse in 1 John 1, 9, and many believers may know this very well. I uh, had a conversation with a man years ago who was towards the end of his life, and he really didn't know if the Lord would forgive him for this one particular uh, thing that he had done in his life. But I took him to this verse and we began to discuss this. Uh, There's an interesting part towards the end of this verse that I really want to key in on this morning. 1 John 1, 9 says this, That if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now we know that the word righteousness in its simplest form simply means right with God. So therefore, unrighteousness would mean that we are not right with God. And the beautiful thing about the believer's life is each and every day, if we do our part in this verse, if we do our part correctly, the Lord says He is faithful to not only forgive us, but to get rid of those things that we're bringing to Him that are a problem in our lives. The first thing it says here, starting out, is that there has to be a confession made that we have done wrong in the sight of God. That is sin. Missing the mark. Wrong in the sight of God. So many times, guys, we go to the Lord and we try to justify what we have done and ask Him to forgive us. But that's not what this verse says. It says to confess or to to, to bring to the Lord and say, Lord, th- I own this. I did this. Not just against somebody, not just against myself. I did this thing against you. That's the confession part. Once we give him that, then it says that he is faithful to do his part, which is not only to forgive us, but that word cleanse is so powerful here because I've always Uh, got the analogy when I read this that the Holy Spirit has given me that it would be like if I had a cup and I I poured some uh, some coke or some type of soft drink in it that has a sticky substance and I drink that and then I just pour the rest out and set the glass on the counter well it may appear empty but after a while when you go back there is a residue or a film inside of that glass or that cup Because what I poured out remained. It was emptied, but it was not cleansed. But if I wash that out with soap and water and then put it in a dishwasher, that dishwasher has the power to not only clean it, but sterilize it and purify it. So that when it comes out, there is absolutely no evidence of what was in the cup. And God, what I want to tell you this morning, church, is that that's what the Lord says He can do if we just daily come to Him, preferably early in the morning, and let our confessions be made. Lord, I'm weak in this area. I'm undone in this area. I'm struggling in this area. I have committed this sin or this act or this wrongdoing before you, and I need to get it right. King David wrote in Psalm 51, Wash me 
and cleanse me, purify me, so that I can be right in your sight. So today, not just asking the Lord to empty us of any wrongdoing against Him, but we're asking Him to cleanse us so that we can be right with Him. I pray that over you today, that you will not go to the Lord this morning trying to justify something you've done, but rather you would go to the Lord this morning saying, Lord, I've wronged you in this area. I've sinned against you or I'm struggling in this area or these things are coming against me and I need to be right with you on this. And the Lord says he's faithful enough to do that. So let's trust him with it this morning. Praying for you always that your best foot is forward spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally to be the best believer that you could possibly be and allow God to grow us all each and every day under his nurture and under his admonition. I pray you have a great day today, that you be safe, be strong, and you be blessed. Amen.